all of them are working and, and studying and getting ready to play. So who would be working that other that spot right now? I mean, are, is it because Alex Davis is technically uh, a cat? But uh -huh. You guys haven't used him obviously because of the matchups. Yes, yeah. is that kind of? Yeah, just you know, Luke gave us more of that race for space speed guy. Him and Marcus uh -huh. gave us a little bit more, you know, outside linebacker speed guy, and then. Now will be as we get in the Big Ten. Alex and Sed's participation will definitely jump up. Is this a heavier personnel opponent when you look at Rutgers and what they? Then what we've seen, absolutely, yeah. They'll still do some of the stuff that we've seen, but they'll get into more 12, 21 personnel. Yeah. They brought in six grad transfers. I mean, have you noticed their team? Does it look a lot different than a year ago with six new grad well, transfers? on we didn't even play them last year, so it was two years ago that we played them. So yeah, there's a a lot of new faces. So it's a totally different team, and they're they're a good, tough team. Uh, they got, you know, Coach Kill everywhere he's been. I've had tough, good offenses. So, I mean, we're, we're preparing for a good team. Mm -hmm. Probably mentioned Chris Weber as a guy that can maybe show solidarity and leadership in a tough time like this. Have you kind of seen him respond well as a leader and a veteran on this team this week? Yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's stepped up. And guys have stepped up. It's been a, a very focused week. You know, we, you don't really know what was going to happen on Monday, but guys were locked in. They came out and they worked hard, and same thing today. So they're, they're – they're doing the right things and working to get better, and that's what we need to do right now. Thanks, Coach. Yep. What are you liking from about Mo Berry's growth? I mean, what, what has impressed you from maybe where he was entering fall camp and where he is three weeks into oh, the season? Oh, just as a, you know, he's always played hard. He's always been physical, always could run fast. He's so much more assignment sound and in the right spots. And he just really gives us a boost of energy. And, and now that he can really focus and lock into what his job is and be in the right spots, he, he helps us a lot. I think earlier in fall camp, he talked about needing to improve as a vocal leader, kind of the focus of his. Have you seen that as well? Just he, is he talking more out there? Do you see? Yeah, that? yeah, he's communicating the calls he needs to make and and helping guys when they're. I mean, he, he made a couple checks in the game that were someone else's job, but he saw it. So things like that are definitely new for him, and it's good to see. How much have you been able to get Avery? And I, I guess it's hard to sometimes keep yeah. track of guys coming in and out. I mean, has Avery been able to get some snaps the first three? I mean, Not on defense. No, he's just on been special teams, he, he's he's done a lot better. Just. And then he's working at inside linebacker. But right now with, with Dedrick, Chris, and, and Muhammad, that's, that rotation's been really good inside for us. And, and Avery, will, he's going to have to keep working and wait for his opportunities. And, and we know they all come, so he's got to be ready. Has he handled that all right? I mean, he I has. He has. For, for a freshman, a young guy who, who obviously came here early and to play, he's, he's handled it extremely well. With Barry, you know, isn't that with those two, Barry kind of preaches what you preach to him, kind of waiting his turn. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that kind of rub off from Barry to Roberts? Yeah, uh, Muhammad's helped Avery a, a lot, and uh, and Luke's helped Tyron because there's, you know, those are two guys that had to wait their wait and keep working when they weren't playing much, and and now it's paying off. They're on the field. Luke's on the field a ton. Muhammad's on the field a ton. So that that trust in the process of, of just getting better, and when those opportunity comes, you got to take advantage of it. Prior. I'm sorry, but Coach Riley mentioned Andrew Ward, uh, yeah. at least looking at him. Uh -huh. what, what's kind of your message to a guy like that who he's, you know, be ready or, or what do you yeah. tell him? We, he's in all our meetings. You know, he, he comes to the linebacker meetings and, and, the, and the prep meetings for uh, the opponents. And it, it is, it's, it's be ready. You never know when you get that opportunity. you got to be ready. And he's done a good job so far. Coach Riley said this week, the coaches have to be great teachers. Yeah. I mean, even above you, know, maybe. It, it, what, what's... What's kind of your goal this week, or what were you looking oh, at? Oh, it's, it's no different. We, we challenge ourselves to be great every day. Mm -hmm. and, and just like we ask of our players, it's a, it's a daily, day in and day out, refocusing and energy and making sure that their meeting with us is the best thing they have all day. And so it's very important for the us. The fact that it's Big Ten play, maybe it sounds cliche to some, but starting 0-0, zero zero, does that help this team? That you can say, okay, it's, it's, we're 0-0 in conference play, let's go again. I'm sure it does. It hasn't been a conversation piece for us. It's For us, it's get better every week. And if we can continue to improve and show strides that we have in the last, especially the last six quarters, then, then we're on the right path. There's a lot of room left to grow, but, it, but if we keep working like we have, we, we can continue to get better, and that's what we need to do to win. Thanks, Coach. Yep.